The Lee County Sheriff says a wrong has now been made right after a former deputy has pled guilty to 31 counts of evidence tampering. It don't matter what line of work you do, um, people can break the law. You know, um, um, was it, it very disheartening to see a law enforcement, prior law enforcement officer that had been there. Uh, he was there way before my time. He had worked there for, I think, around 15 years. On Tuesday, the circuit court judge Caleb May of Mississippi 8th Judicial District heard a guilty plea from the defense on behalf of previous Leake County Deputy Justin Moore. This comes after the arrest of Moore a year ago on 31 counts of evidence tampering. Back in June of 2022, the Mississippi Crime Lab found inconsistencies from evidence that was sent from the sheriff's office and after discovering where the irregularities were coming from and finding 14 submissions that appeared to be tampered with, they discovered that all of the submissions originated from the leak County Sheriff's Office, which then led to a conversation with District Attorney Stephen Kilgore to start a bigger investigation with the Mississippi Bureau of Narcotics. They were able to find DNA and fingerprints on uh, 14 pieces of evidence, and that was compared to uh, several members of the Lee County Sheriff's Office, and it came back as matching former Deputy Justin the sheriff says since then they've changed the drug evidence process. If you go and you do a drop box, if you go to a bank and you drop, that's what we've got now. It's a drop box that they drop it into and it's no way of retrieving it. He also says a wrong has been made right and dozens of victims have now been able to receive a second chance at life. Every case that he was involved in, rightfully so, was uh, dismissed. Those folks had a second chance you know, to, 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 to be able to get their life in, in straight, too. Moore is now facing 20 years to serve in custody of the Mississippi Department of Corrections and five years of post-release supervision. The sheriff says that this can serve as a warning that no matter who you are, no one is above the law. In Leake County, Kennedy Cooper, 16, WABT News.